let's look again at health imbalances, chakra imbalances, body illness. I used to also subscribe very much to the belief that if something was off in my body, that I needed to look at that, that I needed to heal it, that I needed to deal with it. I believe very much in working with the chakra, working very hard to balance my body. And then my father got sick with cancer. And I realized that illness is also a gift. And as I watched my father die, I realized that he wasn't broken, that he was still perfect, whole and complete, that his illness was not meant to be conquered or beat, but rather accepted as a gift. Was that difficult? It was. I also looked at myself as the universe put me through not one, not two, but three car accidents, leaving me with a condition called fibromyalgia. And when this happened, I was only 29. My whole life changed. Did that mean there was something wrong with me? Was I now missing the point? Was I now broken and just not getting it? I struggled for a long time as I'd been taught that if my body was off in any way, that I was doing something wrong. And then I started to realize the simple point of acceptance. And as I worked with an acceptance, I found that my illness, my permanent partial disability, as it was called, was not a problem but a gift. The gift that brought me the time to write the book that I wrote, the gift to help me to learn how to teach, to give me the strength and courage to speak. By taking away all of my other trades, it brought me to do what I absolutely loved, what I was born to do, to become a reader and to help show other people that they don't need anybody else's help, that they too are perfect, whole, and complete. Now, it's really hard when we're living in a world that we're always looking to improve ourselves in some way. But this is where you start from the word acceptance. I accept who I am. And you see, the thing is, is that I don't put limitations on myself. Because I accept where I am, I do exactly what I want to do, and I listen to my body. I don't see myself as a victim or a martyr or someone who is working within a disability. I have never seen that, and nor will I. Yes, some days I have a lot of pain, but does that mean I've done something wrong, that I'm being punished, that I need to look at that? No. It means the universe is nicely telling me, sit down, just stop for a bit. Relax. You're fine. You're good. You don't have to push any harder. You're, you're doing great. And therefore, I look at it as, as a gift in my life. It is also true that at some, one point in time, I had abnormal cells in my cervix. And I used Ulexite, a wonderful stone. And I did meditation. And I was allowed and meant to reverse those. So what I'm saying is when you use these techniques, use them as an enhancement. Don't place expectations on it. Be grateful for where you are, even though you may not like it. And then add these techniques where they fit in your life. Don't stop your life to live. If these techniques work for you, then add them in. If they don't feel right to you, then they're not for you. Leave them aside. If somebody says to you, you are broken and you need balancing and this chakra is out of balance or that chakra is out of balance, you are still perfect, whole, and complete. And if you say, well, I feel fine, then you feel fine. As we work in transition, our chakras go through different stages. Sometimes they're flowing beautifully and sometimes they're not. But we are still perfect in the state that we're meant to be in at that time. We're always in the state of evolution, and we're definitely in a state of experience. And if we can work to accept those things, 
accept where we are first and then do what feels right to enhance our life, then we've got it. If we take a view that we're a victim or we're broken, then we've just disempowered ourselves and we're no longer in our corner. And yeah, it takes a bit to wrap your head around this whole theory because so often our world has been working to fix other people. We don't need fixing. We need to accept ourselves the way that we are. We are exactly the way we need to be. Now, it's come to my thought that a lot of you don't know who I am. I've been working as a clairvoyant education or, sorry, lecturer in educating the public for over 20 years now on various subjects. My book covers all of these subjects. I found out I was different from other people when I was 23 because I've always heard what I needed to hear. I've always had my own answers. I've always heard what I called the voice of God. What it's made me realize is that we are all equal. Anything I can do, you can do. My purpose is not bigger than any of yours because my purpose is the same as yours is that it's to experience my life and to be grateful for it. And in the times that I don't like it, to still accept it. I believe that we are all equal, and I firmly believe that. I do now teach on a regular basis, but I believe that this knowledge should be ours all the time. And that's why I'm taking the time to put them in a format where you have free access to them at all times so you can teach yourself, so you can become a teacher for you, to show yourself what works for you. And I would like to share with you how simple everything is. We are already clear channels. The next show we are going to look at, Ghosts, Guides, Spirits, and Past Lives. Because we have the ability to channel energy. That's also where we find our information. We have the ability to channel both. We are born clear channels. And some, some believe that our channels clog sometimes. However, I believe that we're always a free-flowing channel. And the only people we ever turn away from is ourselves. I believe that the universal energy is always there to serve us. And for those of you that believe in God, God is always there to stand by us. I believe that everything we need is accessible to us, by us at all times, and we do not need to seek out others. I believe that this does take practice, because as I discussed earlier in a previous show about the ego, it's sometimes really hard to navigate and hear our own quiet voices. So over the next couple of shows, we're going to be discussing different theories, And again, ways to teach ourselves. All of what I teach on air is also available in my book. From Above with Love, Basic Knowledge One. If you go on to my website, www.aukeera.com, you will find the links in order to order the book. It is only currently available in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada but it is available to all of you through McNally Robinson. And if you email them or go on the website there or call their number, you will find it. I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Till then, take care. This is Akira Rain. For being with us on the psychology of spirit with your host akira rain we hope you've enjoyed today's program and will return to us next monday afternoon at 5 p.m eastern time and 2 p.m pacific time on seventh wave network remember life is not meant to be an uphill climb it's just life